Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to, okay, um, how to install Atlas OS. Um, but first things first, you got to definitely, so this is my USB stick here with the fresh install. If you're not sure how to make one of these and how to boot into the BIOS or have it boot, have the computer boot from the USB, then I uh, check out the other video that I showed you guys that I have linked here. But right now I'm in the process of installing a fresh copy. This is completely the stock version of Windows OS without, um, you know, big third party companies, computer companies that, you know, put a bunch of bloatware on there. This is just the basic uh, Windows OS. Now Windows OS comes with a little bit of bloat uh, stuff. And um, yeah, as you can see, I'm currently in installing the, um, the uh, the OS, so after this, I'm gonna show you what you need to do. You're gonna connect this eventually to the internet and uh, install the latest Windows updates, and then after that, we'll be able to proceed to installing the um, um, uh, Atlas OS program on your computer. Okay, so I went through the initial Windows setup process. It asked me for a username, a password, and we're almost to the, to the point where we can actually log in. And there we are. We just logged into Windows for the first time. Um, when you set up Windows for the first time as a fresh install, um, you, they ask for your username, your password, answer some security questions. So that's where we are right now. Now what I'm going to do is turn off this computer. It's currently not connected to the Internet. As you can see, no Wi-Fi, no uh, Ethernet cable. And then I'm going to connect it uh, to the Internet and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, guys, so like I said, the next part of this process of getting Atlas OS is after you've installed a fresh copy of Windows on your computer that you want to get Atlas OS on, uh, you connect it to the internet. In this case, I have an Ethernet cable, as you can see, and we're here, and then the next thing we need to do is do Windows updates. So just come over here and type, check for updates check and there you go it says check for updates go ahead and click that um, we are connected so check for updates there should be a button that says check for updates uh, in some cases it will automatically start checking um, but here I have to actually click check for updates and it's gonna be checking for updates so um, right now it's looking for that and we just give it a little bit of time here and eventually this will start populating with a bunch of updates. Um, I think this is pretty straightforward. I think most of us knows how to do this. If we, if you don't, then I'm telling you how to do it now. So, you know, we search for check updates over here in the Windows search bar. Look for, ch and it should bring you to this screen here. Again, this is Windows 10, Windows 11, and order previous of uh, OSs of Windows will be similar. Uh, but we'll let this finish. And there you can go. You see, it's it picked up some stuff. And it's going to go ahead and download and install this. There's a bunch of stuff. When you have a fresh copy of Windows OS, um, there's a lot of uh, uh, Windows updates that it needs to get. So I'm scrolling here. This is going to take a little bit of time, maybe like 20, 25, 30 minutes. So you have to restart your computer like once or twice. But once you have Windows updated, then we'll be able to proceed to installing the Atlas OS, which I'm going to show you uh, next. Uh, but first things first, we'll let these updates finish. Okay, so like I said, uh, it, at some point it's going to ask you to do the restart of the after doing the Windows update. So you can see that there's some pending uh, updates. It says pending restart, pending restart. So you just hit the restart button here, and this may be the first, or this this is the first time I have to restart it. So I'm going to restart it, and Windows will restart, and then all you have to do is go back into uh, check for updates, check for window updates. And uh, begin, yeah, let, let it continue updating until you get to the point where there's no more updates. Okay, so we did the restart and it looks like uh, Windows is fully updated and you can, you, can, you can confirm that by going to check for w updates. You can see right here it says you're up to date. If you want to really make sure, you can always just click the button check for updates to make sure that's the case. Uh, but I did it and we're good to go. So now the next step is actually... Um, going to the Atlas OS website and downloading a couple of files. Uh, they're zip files. You're going to unzip it. And uh, you'll see the next parts right up after this.